Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to download Windows 11 to a USB bootable drive. Free and easy. By the way, if you would like to help support my channel, please click on that subscribe button. Okay, let's get started by opening up an internet browser. I've opened up Chrome and then I'm going to type in on the Google search engine how to download Windows 11 and go ahead and execute that and then a list of potential links come up and the one you want to click on that I suggest is download Windows 11 that's directly from Microsoft so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and once I do that opens up the Microsoft website page for downloading Windows 11 directly from Microsoft and here's the URL or the address for Microsoft's Windows 11 download page I'll copy that and put it in my description on this video as well now down here we have Windows 11 installation assistance and then down below we got download Windows 11 disk image for ISO but the one we want is the one in the middle here create Windows 11 installation media and this option will allow us to download a media creation tool to make a bootable USB I'm gonna click on the download now button here and when I do it downloads the media creation tool exe and I'm gonna just double click on that and execute it and that will bring up the Windows 11 setup page and it says getting a few things ready and this can take a few minutes so keep that in mind and once that's completed you get the license terms um, agreement here just go ahead and accept it and once you do it'll come back and say getting a few things ready again and this can also take um, a good five or ten minutes so keep that in mind and you can select your language or take the default and if you want to change your language you have to uncheck this so that you can select a different language and also uh, a different edition if it's available okay once you've decided on what to do there go ahead and click on next and then you choose which media to use and in our case it's the default selection USB flash drive and keep in mind that it needs to have a minimum size of 8 gigabytes in size and keep in mind it's okay if it's larger 16 gigabytes is fine or even more than that but you only need again 8 gigabytes um, USB flash drive size wise now also you want to make sure that the USB flash drive is completely blank and dedicate it for this um, setup installation and that you have no other files on it because they will be lost um, during this um, installation process okay let's go ahead and insert my USB flash drive into my USB port on my laptop and that is completed now we can go back here and go ahead and click on next because I'm all set and ready to um, do the um, install on my USB but I want to go ahead and make sure I select the USB flash drive by highlighting it um, that's just in case if you have uh, more than one USB flash drive plugged into your laptop and you want to be able to select the correct one once you do that click on next and then you get getting a few things ready again and then you get downloading Windows 11 and you see a progress here and it's going to take um, probably a good 25 to 30 minutes in most cases to download Windows 11 to your USB flash drive and then you'll see progress verifying your download and once that's done it goes ahead and creates um, the Windows 11 media from the download that it completed just prior to this step and this will take a good 20-25 minutes as well once that's done your USB flash drive is ready and you will get a message telling you that at this point you can go ahead and click on the finish button down below here and then you'll get this last message setup is cleaning up before it does and this can also 
takes several minutes depending on the performance of your laptop. Okay, now we are finished and you have a USB bootable Windows 11 setup or installation flash drive that you can use to install Windows 11 on any laptop or computer. And one last thing I like to mention is that I like to always use the eject USB flash drive utility built into Windows and that way I am feeling comfortable and secure that uh, you know the USB is safe to be removed from my laptop and that uh, Windows agrees with that. All right so that's the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you like.